Welcome to the third video in the series Framing the Image, Combining Qualitative Content with Film Analysis. The previous video showed you how you may collect your material and make a selection relevant to the scope of your research. This video will focus on aspects of film analysis that you should consider when using qualitative content analysis for filmic material. We will see how film analysis makes you aware of the material specifics. Let us go back to the fragment of Magnificent Century that I discussed in the first video. So far, we have only looked at a still. To better understand what happens in the scene and what I refer to in this video, I suggest you watch the fragment. Hüram, cennetten hediye misin sen? Süleyman, ben şey istiyor. Sen ne istersen söyle. Ben sene inanıyor, ona inanmak istiyor. Senin baktığın güneşe bakmak, senin gördüğün görmek istiyorum. Ben senin Allah'a inanmak istiyor. Sen Müslüman mı olmak istiyorsun? Evet. Bunu yürekten mi istiyorsun? Kalbim istiyor. Olmaz mı? Ben senin kalbinin, ruhunun kölesi olurum Hürrem. şehadet getireceksin. Ben ne söylersem tekrar edeceksin. Eşhedü en la ilahe illallah. Eşhedü en la ilahe illallah. Ve eşhedü enne. Ve eşhedü enne. Muhammeden. Muhammeden. Abduhu ve resulü. Abduhu ve resulü. Dedin ki Şahitlik ederim ki Allah'tan başka ilah yoktur. Ve yine şahitlik ederim ki Hz. Muhammed onun kulu ve peygamberi. Our analysis revolves around the following question. How is meaning created in this scene? We will have to look at several filmic aspects to understand that. There is the text spoken by Hürem and Süleyman, the sound of the background music, gestures and actions taken by the characters, and the costumes and props used and, of course, the place and the time where the action takes place. On the textual level, we first hear Hürem asking to be converted to Islam, and then Suleiman answering that it is possible. Then he recites the lines of the creed in Arabic, and Hürem repeats them one by one. At the background, we hear music. When Hürem enters, music is being played on a plucked instrument. 
When Huren and Suleiman talk, it is music played by the oud, a kind of lute. And at the end, we hear a theme played by a violin. This theme relates to Ibrahim Pasha, Suleiman's most confidential servant, who is also a convert to Islam. He always plays his violin at night. At the moment of the creed, the violin stops and we hear a vocal and a reed flute, the symbol of Islamic Sufi music. The music follows the flow of the action and, with the theme of Ibrahim's violin, hints at other converts in the Sultan's entourage. On the level of the action, we see Hurem enter Suleiman's private chamber, bowing for him and kissing his hand. Suleiman takes her head in his hand and they start talking. Hurem leads Suleiman to the fireplace and makes him sit down. Suleiman gets up, brings a scarf and covers Hurem's head. When he recites the creed, they sit opposite each other on the same level. Hurem wears a red dress with a plunging neckline, whereas Suleiman wears a casual loose shirt showing his body hair. Hurem's hair is uncovered when she enters the room. The scarf Suleiman adorns her with is golden and richly embroidered. These costumes indicate an intimate private situation. The scene occurs at the Topkapi Palace in Istanbul at the beginning of Suleiman's rule in the 16th century. Both Hurem and Suleiman are still young. As this analysis shows, you must consider several aspects of a scene when analyzing filmic material. The meaning of a scene is built by the spoken language, sound, action, costumes, the situation in time and space, and other filmic tools. A complete film analysis based on this method comprises more aspects to be taken into account, such as camera handling, perspective, film material, and coloring. For a more complete list, I would like to refer you to the works of Bordwell et al. and Mikos, both of which are mentioned in the literature list that accompanies this video collection. Depending on your project, you can consider different ranges of aspects. But for my qualitative content analysis based on filmic material, the elements I discussed suffice. In this video, I made you aware that analyzing a film or a television series requires specific aspects to consider. In the next video, I will explain how to integrate film analysis into the qualitative content analysis.